Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss problem on the two sphere. The question is prove that the two sphere x square plus y square plus z square minus 2 times x plus 4y minus 4z is equal to 0 and the second sphere x square plus y square plus z square plus 10 times x plus 2z plus 10 touch each other and find the point of contact. Okay. Suppose this is the first sphere S1 yes, and this is the second sphere S2. Yes, okay. Now the question is we prove they are touch each other externally and we know two sphere touch each other externally if and only if the distance between their center is same as sum of their radii. Okay. So first of all, we calculate center and radius of the given sphere. So here we use general formula. The general formula of the sphere solution. First I am writing here general solution. Ge sorry, general equation. General equation of sphere. Equation of sphere. That is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 times ux, 2 times vy, 2 times wz plus d is equal to 0. In general form, the center of the sphere, center of the sphere is minus u, minus v, minus w. Okay. And the radius of the sphere is calculated by the formula under root u square v square plus w square minus d. Okay. Now first we discuss the sphere 1. Say suppose S1 yes sphere. x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus 4y minus 4z is equal to 0. Okay. So here the u is a coefficient of x. And in equation there is a 2 time u. Okay. So we compare this S1 yes with the general equation. So here the 2 time u is equal to minus 2. The coefficient of x we construct here. That is u is equal to u is equal to minus 1. Now v is equal to v is equal to c here. Uh, we will get the idea here. Whatever the number present here in the coefficient of x in an equation, here take its half. Okay. So here the half of the this y coefficient is 2, that is v is 2, and w is minus 2. Otherwise, twice v is equal to twice v is equal to 4, 2 to cancel, 2 is remaining. Here twice w is equal to twice w is equal to minus 4. 2 is divided, we get the minus 2. The center of the first sphere, we say C1 is equal to. The center is in general form minus u minus v minus w. So here uh, minus and this minus 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 plus here minus 2 here minus minus plus 2. So this is the center of the first sphere. Okay. Now radius. Radius is equal to radius is equal to under root u square means minus 1 square v square and w square minus d. So here when we comparing the S1 with the standard equation then d is equal to 0. Okay. Now simplify here minus 1 square is 1, here plus 4, plus 4, that is 9, the square root of 9 is 3. So here the radius of the first sphere is 3. Okay. Let us find the center of the second sphere, say S2, that is 
एक स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर प्लस जेड स्क्वेर प्लस टेन टाइम एक्स प्लस टू टाइम जेड प्लस टेन इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ कंपेर दिस विथ इक्वेशन जनरल इक्वेशन सपोज दिस जनरल इक्वेशन इज थ्री ओके कंपेर विथ दिस थ्री देन देन द कोई पिशन ऑफ एक्स इज टॉइस यू इयर टेन That is uh, twice u is equal to ten, so we get u is equal to five. Now, coefficient of uh, y is twice v, and here y is not present. That is zero. So we get v is zero. Now, the coefficient of z is twice w, and here coefficient of the z is two. So we get w is equal to one. Okay, that is. The center, say C two of second sphere, is minus u. U is five and minus that is minus five time. Uh, the v is zero and the w is w is one and minus sign is multiplied minus one. Okay, now let us find the radius. Say R two under root u square plus v square plus w square minus d. Okay, so here the d is ten. When we compare this equation with general equation, okay, so it can be calculated as a five uh, square. U is five, v is zero, w is one, and minus ten. Here one square. Okay, so this is twenty five. This is one. That is twenty six minus ten under root sixteen. Under root sixteen means the second radius is four. The first radius is three, and the second one is four. Second radius is four. Okay. Now here we got the radius, and their addition is uh, here clearly three plus four is seven. Okay. Let us find the distance between their center so that we must have the C one. And C two, we already calculate C one. This is the C one. This is the C two. So here, by distance formula, by distance formula, formula, the distance between C one C two is equal to under root. Under root. Uh, suppose these are the x one, y one, z one, and these are the x two, y two, z two point. So here you can take x two minus x one. Yeah, x one minus x two, but keep one pattern, uniform pattern. So here I am taking x two minus x one, y two minus y one, and z two minus z one. So here minus five and minus one, minus five minus one bracket square plus zero and this minus 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 plus minus one and this minus two. Okay, so here six. Minus one and minus five minus six minus six square is thirty six. Here two square is four. Here uh, minus one minus two minus three minus three square is plus nine. Thirty six plus four is forty plus nine. That is square root of forty nine. Okay, that is the distance between distance between C one and C two. The square root of forty nine is exists. That is seven. Is same as r one plus r two. Okay. That is seven is equal to seven is equal to the r one is three and r two is four. Okay. So distance between center is same as sum of their radii. Hence the given sphere. Hence. Given sphere, spheres touch each other. Touch each other. Okay. Now there is a second question: is find the point of contact. Okay. So here, this is C one and C two. So for point of contact, uh, see this is the C one and this is the C two. And this is the P point. This line C one and C two. 
C1 and C2 divide internally by the point P in the ratio 3 to 4. Okay, we know the formula. Suppose this is the P point we say as a x, y, z. And this is the C1 point, uh, say x1, y1, z1. And this is C2 point, say x2, y2, z2. Okay. Then we find this point P when this line C1 and C2 divide internally in the ratio m to n, then the point P x, y, z is equal to x2 into m plus n into x1. Okay. Divide by m plus n. Now second, y2 into m and here y1 into n divided by m plus n. Now sec third, z2 into m and z1 into n divided by m plus n. Okay, now the point x, y, z is equal to. Okay, so here the x2 is minus 5. See here, minus 5 and the m is 3. m is 3 here, okay, plus, plus x1 into n, n is 1. Now simplify, we get minus 11 by 7. Similarly, the second point here y2 is 0 and n, m is 3 plus x, uh, sorry, y1 is minus 2 into n. Now simplify, we get minus 8 by 7. Similarly, third point, x2, sorry, this is x2, y2, z2. Now this is z2 into m, 3 into minus 1 plus z1 into 4 means n, that is this n and this is 2 and divide by 3 plus 4. In this way, we get the point of contact. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video.